Hi, right, what's up, guys? Welcome back for another video. Uh, last video I did with my daughter, um, reacted to uh, Robert Parrish knocking out Bill Lambeer. My daughter wanted to be in the video so bad, so I just let her be in the video. It was a short video, so she was satisfied, even though she sat there and messed with my microphone and stuff, and just being a being a four year old, I guess. But um. We got, uh, Larry got punished by some player. I don't know who it was. I just ran across this on, uh, basketball time machine. And, um, I guess Larry got revenge on him. So, we just gonna get right to the video. Make sure y'all hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Let's get, let's get 50 likes. Let's get 50 likes. So, let's get to it. Hello and good day to you all, I hope everybody's doing alright, I'm, I'm Sean right. David, I'm thanks for tuning in. Now first of all I want to give a shout out back to Matt Barnes and Steven Jackson's show, All The Smoke, it's a great show, they also cover a lot of old school basketball, so you want to check that one Definitely out. To us and for of, my um, episode today, podcast. I want to cover a Larry Bird story that I'm pretty sure not too many of you guys know. You know I always do my best to find stories that haven't been covered a million times before, and I think this one could be very interesting to you. So let's dig right into today's episode. Let's get it. Never heard of Robert Reed, so I'm assuming he's a small forward too. An uh, inch shorter than Bird, 10 pounds lighter than Bird. Nowhere near the same stats except for assist. Um, never heard of Robert Reed, so let's see what Robert Reed is doing to Bird. Oh, shit. Damn. Reed kind of fast, damn. I've never heard this guy. Damn. Damn. Who, who is this guy? I'm tall ass socks on. Damn. Oh, there wasn't a foul. I forgot they don't call foul back then. Damn, watch the ball. And that's what he's gonna do. If it's bird bent down too far. He'll do that. Larry Bird, I'll be honest, we always pointed at each other. We never really shook hands until after the series was over with. But he was the type of guy, a player, that if you didn't bring it that night, he'd tell you, just why don't you just go home? Just go home back. Because he wanted the competition every night. And you have to respect that. Now this story involves a player with the name of Robert Reed. Robert he Reed. played for the Houston Rockets in the early 1980s and this is exactly where we're going to start with this story. Robert Reed was drafted in the second round with the 40th pick overall by the Houston Rockets in the year 1977. In his rookie season, Robert received about 20 minutes per game because his team at that time was in the rebuilding process and was really trying to get better year by year. Reed was a six foot eight small forward that loved to run the floor. In most yeah, of his games, he was, he was not taking break. any shots, but he was more known to finish with layups at the end of a fast break. But still, Robert worked really hard at his game, and in his second season, he was already starting in many games. His numbers increased, and he was a player that could easily average 15 points, six rebounds, and five assists. In most games, he also did a very good job defensively against some of the best players in the league. In the year 1980, the Rockets were a solid team that could compete for the playoffs and Robert was averaging almost 16 points, 7 rebounds and was setting a franchise record with 2 steals per game. And in exactly yeah, that good. season, he also had one regular season game against Larry Bird. 
It was the 19th of December in 1980 and Robert Reed was guarded by Larry Bird. But that night, Robert simply destroyed Larry. And no matter what Bird did, he was not able to stop Robert. At the end of the game, Robert Reed had 32 points on Bird. Now we have to put that into the right perspective. Larry was not a great defender, but he was a solid defender. And not so many players were able to drop 32 points on Larry. But this would not yeah. be the only time that Robert Reed would give Larry Bird buckets. Now the Houston so more Rockets had a 40 Damn. 42 record and barely made it into the playoffs. But somewhere somehow they managed to upset one team after the other and they really made it to the NBA Finals. And their opponent would be the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics in that season were already an incredible James team. Worthy. Larry Bird was still very young but already one of the brightest stars in the league next to Magic Johnson and Dr. J. When the Rockets made it to the finals, most people believed that the Celtics would sweep them. And rightfully so. Boston had a way better team with countless superstars. Yeah. Houston, on the other hand, had to wait for a couple more years before Hakeem Olajuwon would join the franchise and become their new superstar. In Game 1, the Rockets had to play in Boston and were the clear underdog. But Robert Reed was playing out of his mind. <laughs> to sold out Boston Robert Reed, I've never heard of this guy ever. <laughs> As the Boston Celtics play host to the Houston Rockets. A tough mind of team that even a lot of willpower. And uh, so that I don't think they're coming here. And Fitch directing his team into the finals. After eight years in Cleveland, his second year with Boston. Good play. Paltz has really been an unsung hero Damn. for this Houston team. Personal. Oh my God. He led the team this year. Set a record for Houston and Steel. Three, two. Reed with one. He just got it underway and hit it. That's the bad boy. Reed again. Maxwell on the pick by Billy Pulse and Reed has 12 points. Look at the shooting statistics. 50% for you. Reed was like a cook. Playing defense. Look at that. Steal is second of the game. And nice play foul by Emma Carr. And Reed playing with great confidence in the series this year. Came from the backside and stole. Bad boy. 18 from the outside. Six point lead for Houston. Billy Pulse. First half. Just think, he playing like I believe he's doing it because I I don't know. He playing hard again because he's playing against Larry Bird. He's showing Larry Bird he can play. That's what he's doing. That he proved it. Now he can play. He can play. He tripped them up. They didn't call a foul, but okay, whatever. Was he fast too, but Robert Reed? Oh, that's crazy. At the end, the Celtics won that game just by three. But Robert Reed had an incredible performance on both ends of the floor. Not only did he drop 27 points on the Celtics, 16 on Bird, by the way, but he Damn. also stole the ball four times from Larry Bird. Bird. Now the Celtics really tried everything to stop Reed. They put different players on him, always had a fully committing help side, but Reed shot 54% that night. And this was only the beginning of a very crazy series. In the first five games of that series, Robert Reed held Larry Bird to an average of just 16 points per game. He was playing the passing lanes like crazy, trying average. to limit Bird's touches, and really made it hard for Bird to breathe. Reed, on the other hand, also had his problems on the offensive side for the next games. Shutting down Larry Bird really took all of his energy. Yeah, Only did. in game four, he put up decent numbers where he scored 19 points. Then, in Game 6, the Celtics were leading 3-2. They had the chance to close out the series. Robert Reed, who was a very religious man, prayed before the game. I to the hotel, I got on my hands and knees, and I said, Lord, now you brought us a mighty long <laughs> Lord? Way, and we want to thank you. I want to thank you. Now, Lord, you know I've never prayed for a victory. I'm not now, but just do this. <laughs> Give me the strength. <laughs> Then when the game started again, Robert Reed was unstoppable. Reed was Maxwell on in. Robert Reed uses the screen button after going 0 for 4. Dunleavy gets one. 23, 18. Emerson. Bird is back. Three on one. Robert Reed. Bird didn't know what to do. Seconds on the shot clock. Archibald on the move. Rebound. Reed. Terrible layup. I 
school player. Robert Wade, quick move. The first down. This is straight dominate. Henderson, off to Willoughby. Reed, far reaching in to Robert Reed. Damn. Bird, Bird was playing like it's sir. I swear Bird was not playing like it's sir. with four seconds on the shot clock. Reed, three, two. Again, Robert Reed was unstoppable and dropped 27 points, but it would not be enough. Why? Because Larry Bird was also unstoppable that night. Not only did he also have 27 points, but the he had defense, he was, he was doing to do in the last minute of the game, being there when it mattered the most. After the series, Robert for Reed and Larry Bird would shake hands for the first time as a sign of respect. Larry Bird, who was shut down the entire series, was there when it mattered the most. And also in that series, he would have one play that would go down as one of the best plays in NBA history. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, so this one, okay. I remember that shot right there. So that's when he played against uh, Reed. When he did that, that crazy layup with the left hand. I had never heard of Robert Reed until this video right here. I promise you. That's crazy oh but um shout out to Robert Reed man I'm uh damn I'm shocked uh man, he went crazy on Bird through the whole series but you know drug it down to what the last uh was it game six was game, uh, game seven they still lost though but the fact that Reed was giving Bird problems like that that's crazy a lot of, like I said a lot of players didn't give Bird uh that much a problem that much uh Problems or whatever, but um, dang, Robert Reed, Robert Reed, guys. Uh, let me know what y'all think about the video. Uh, make sure I hit the like button, subscribe if you knew all good stuff, and um, come back for more videos. So stay smooth, stay blessed. I'm out.